we are going to discuss one of the great topic called principal component analysis it comes under multivariant in multivariant there are so many uh, you know subcategory like uh, cluster and you have a, a principal component analysis itself is a topic and various other topics also we have and we are going to do it in many tab and we have taken an example of food analysis and it's going to be very very interesting and from there various and our multiple variables how we can have very short and uh, short variable that defines that the value and from there you will be able to take it very very easily right you will get the various value like hygiene value and all that so let's see that okay this is the data set i have and the same data set uh, there are seven uh, there are totally nine columns and uh, the first column is the brand the brand goes like a to j you can find it here a to j and and then id numbers associated with that and then there are seven you know the variables we have one is a moisture what is the moisture content in the food and what is a protein level what is a fat what is ash ash is also help to digest how how what's the duration it takes to digest the food and sodium carbohydrates and calcium so there are seven things we have seven variables we have okay and i have already copied the data in many tab let's see how it how we can perform it very easy go to stat and go to multivariant and as I said that there are so many analysis you can do. For example, principal component, factor analysis, item analysis, clusters, and so on and so forth. Let's say that principal component. So in the variable, ID is not a variable, right? It's just identification. And what I will do, I will take from C3 all the way to C9 right number of component to compute right uh, for example it's we know it's a seven and if you wanted to give you can give otherwise you can leave it and go to graph and you can select all the value scree plot score plot for, for first two component loading plot for first two component and by plot and then you have a first two component and outlier plot and then in storage, we are not going to do anything. So we are just going to give, okay. So there are, these are all the graph, we'll see one by one. Okay. Maybe what I will do, I will just keep it in the editor menu so that it will be easy for you. I will keep it here. Okay, and then I will keep it here. And uh, the next one, I will keep it here. Okay, I will make it one more one so that I can accommodate this also as well. Okay, no, fantastic. So now all the variables we have in this. Let me just go back again and do it uh, one more. Ah, yeah, it is already here. Yeah, sorry. It is already here. So you can see that all the component have come up, all the graph, all the plots have come up. The first one is called loading plot. Loading plot, as you can see here, in this one, you can find that the most, the highest one is a sodium and fat. When you increase the sodium, and that means you are increasing the fat also as well. And that takes a lot of ash, mean that lot of time to digest, right? This is the first uh, analysis, right? And then you have something called Egin Egin value. Egin value is also very important one. And as you can see that there are one is almost like a flat line, and the first three component it gives it. For example, let's say uh, we know that what is the first uh, one, right? The moisture, protein, fat, and all that it gives it. And then outlier. Is there any outlier? Yeah, there, there are outlier are there because it is above the reference line. There are outliers also there. And then next, what you have is called score plot. Score plot is, is like a cluster plot and trend line also it gives. And it gives that which are all the first two component. First component with the second component. First component, we have moisture. The second component, we have protein, right? So it gives that how it has been scattered. And then 
at the last very very important called by plot by plot also gives that way the values are there for example let's say carbohydrate uh, which is in negative and uh, the, the the less you take it's, it's better and then you have all this value here like sodium and all that i said that you know the ash and sodium and fat and all that this is very very uh, if you take more is going to take more processing time right so this is how you can easily interpret the pca let's see the summary right you can go to the session window and let's go up Okay, so you can see that hygen uh, analysis of the correlation because we've selected correlation and you also have another options to do it, but we have selected only the correlation. We can do the other one also as well if you require, right? So hygen value according to the normal standard, if it is greater than one, it found to be very high uh, cluster or high you know, significance we can say so in this one the first two it says that high greater than one that signifies that uh, the first one the moisture and protein are important and then you also you have to look at that all the seven one right cumulative one the first one is a moisture pc1 principal component one is a moisture the second one is protein the third one is fat the fourth one is ash fifth one is sodium Sixth one is carbohydrate and seventh one is calcium, right? This is what you will find here, right? And and then generally speaking, if it is a discrete data, an acceptable lay level is 80 percentage, but generally it also depends on application also as well. And, uh, and then for other analysis, you can also consider 90 also as well, but you can see here. So the first, this two, uh, you can say that these are all the values greater than 90 percentage and you will also find that how much pc1 pc2 all that you will find from the moisture and all that so this is very interesting uh, for example pc1 how much moisture and uh, and all that so if you look at here uh, so you will find all the value including the negative values and all that you are finding it right like a correlations values and all that you are finding it i hope you find this useful and similarly if you wanted to have any other format for example the one which we did i'm um, going back again multivariant and principal principal uh, component and then if you want the covariances also you can do right and uh, then we last time we left aside this one number of component to compute let's say i wanted to have let's say calcium and carbohydrate is not very important and i wanted to have only for five and I still i'm going back to correlation the previous method and still i can do it so right so how much it is you, you can easily find uh, here the sodium and the ash and all that so you can easily find it and then if you wanted to go to that uh, session folder you can also do that similarly if you wanted to have control e i'm going back if you want in covariance also you can do that right so i hope you find this uh, very useful please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead